Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Sagittarius. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the month of August 2021. We have four piles here, signifies a week in the month, each month of each week of the month of August. Starting off with your all over energy card, you've been given surrender to effortlessness. So it's saying here that you need to stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force it. So you're being asked to step back, not to over, over obsess, overdo, overindulge in anything this month. Take a look as your weeks unfold here so that you can step forward with ease. Perhaps you've put your time and effort into something and now it's time for you to just step back and let it unfold naturally. And that can be a goal you're working on. It could be something at your place of employment, your business. It could even be not to force anything uh, or anybody's hand to do something they're not ready to do as well. And that includes not pushing or forcing relationships to go to the next level. Just let things unfold naturally. Coming in with your, re your relationship card or romance, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So maybe you're going through some issues with a relationship and you're waiting and wondering if it's going to improve or there could be a beautiful announcement coming in here where you might need help from your friends. Maybe you're planning a party, an engagement party. Maybe you're planning a wedding of some sort. And let your friends step forward. You may be choosing people here to help and assist you uh, and to support you through this beautiful moment. So you're being asked to not do things on your own. You're being asked to, to go and reach out to people who, you, who want to be there for you. So try not to do things all on your own this month. Reach out and ask for help. Don't be too proud. There are people out here who truly want to help and you to move forward and want to be there for you. It's also indicative that you're going to be spending time and the universe is saying, get out there and enjoy yourself, have some fun, socialize, do some beautiful events, uh, you know, community wise and be with your friends uh, or, or your chosen family that you want to spend and enjoy some happy times with. Thank goodness that the <clears throat> restrictions are being lifted and people can get out and be with friends and family again. Now your first week here you have the Page of Wands, you have the King of Wands, and you have the Bear. Coming in right off the bat you have the Page of Wands and Page of Wands is beautiful because it talks about new and exciting opportunities that are going to be presented to you this week coming in towards you. And I do notice that you have this card twice here. You're, uh, going into the third week as well. So you've got a powerful message here saying that there's going to be things coming in uh, for you that are going to excite you. It's about good news. Maybe you're getting involved in some sort of creative project and it insists that you look and be happy and go towards this and believe in yourself. Um, you know, it may never seem like a challenge, but you know, it may seem like a challenge, but know that you're ready for this, okay? And you're being guided. So this is a messenger that comes in and says, wake up and see the exciting new opportunities coming your way. Beautiful. And you know, when we move up from the page, we move into, we jump right into the King of Wands and the King of Wands is focused. He's going towards his goals. He doesn't, he doesn't uh, sit around and, and play around with the little menial tasks. He's going for the big picture and this means he's focusing on his goal going full stream ahead towards these beautiful opportunities that have been presented to him. So you're in a position right now because he is the king. He has the ability to be a very powerful leader. And you know, you're born, they're saying that you could be a natural born leader yourself, Sagittarius. So, um, and if you're heading into business or organizing something that allows you to be innovative, you're going to be able to accomplish things now. I think you're going to be able to let your creative uh, your creative ambitions come out here. Um, you have this beautiful ability to go into and be your own entrepreneur, be your own boss. Um, you may have a teaching role. You may have a role where you're stepping up and you're being asked to publicly speak about something. You know, stand up for your courage and your convictions and speak in front of a group if, you, if you've been asked. I think you can make a difference uh, with people when you do this. So, I think you may be receiving some advice from someone who could be this king, who could be coming forward. Uh, you know, they could be, uh, this particular king could be coming forward 
to give you advice or perhaps teach you something. Um, and you know, it, it could be, this is a fire sign. If you have, if you know this fire sign, it could be an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarian that's coming forward. Uh, you know, he has that ability to step up and go for his goals and go for the big picture, not just wait around and uh, you know, think about it. So I think, you know, you're going to be taking on a lot of the energy of this king. Coming in below that, you're being protected. Look at this bear. This, you know, the polar bear is the most ferocious bear out there. But this is about power and strength and health and protection. And also it could have to do with your finances, the power in your finances that you have. Um, I think that, you know, um, this is the power and the position of business in the business world that you could be dealing with people that are in, you know, in that have this stat standard and status uh, in, in the business world. You could be dealing with them. You could also be going through this push pull energy of pushing something through by sheer force, standing in your due diligence, standing in your determination. Um, beautiful, beautiful card that says stay focused here. I think you're going to see some offers of opportunities coming forward and presenting themselves that may be new and exciting for you to go towards. And, you know, this could be business. This could be opening an own, your own business here because we talk about the bear aligned with this king of wands. So some of you might be stepping out to be your own boss or you could be, could be giving, given the position of a leadership role at your place of employment where you work or even maybe asked to step up and, and be in charge of uh, uh, in charge of a department or other people on the team now coming in with your second week you have the king of swords you have the knight of pentacles and you have the excuse me you have the dice here very interesting You've got another powerful king coming in here as well. And some of you may be dealing with legal legal situations where you're hiring a lawyer or this could be the judge. This is someone who's truthful, stands in their integrity and their honesty and their wisdom. Um, I think that you could be leaning into somebody here. Maybe you have, uh, you have retained someone here to help you with a legal situation. But this says stand in your courage, stand in your conviction, stand up for yourself as well. Uh, it's a very powerful card that says, you know, stand in your power here. Don't back down uh, you know to any opposition coming your way but I think you're going to have an advocate here that's going to be helping you through a situation coming in next you have the knight of pentacles and the knight of pentacles is about getting things done stepping forward as I had said with the king of wands staying focused and going for this new exciting endeavor and new direction that you want to go so I think you're going to be stepping up here and doing that being able to go forward um, and attending to the details honor your promises and your commitments that you've made to other people People as well when this shows up it says that you should be doing that I'm seeing you should be doing that as well you've got the dice and you know what I don't think you have any risks here I'm looking at your reading here and I really don't think there's any major risks here you're focused on something you're being protected here uh, you could be dealing with money um, you know with this night you're going to step up and get things done and uh, you know moving forward towards something I don't think there's a there's a there's a risk here uh, although in your heart you may think think it's something you're dealing with here is risky but I would definitely throw the dice and go in for what go in uh, for your goals and stay focused on your on what it is you want to see happening coming in with your third week you have the hangman you have the page of wands again and you have the the book so right off the bat with the page of wands we're talking about that wonderful opportunity and and go for it uh, because you know the the king of wands is staying focused here saying you need to go for this goal don't be afraid of anything new coming in you could be doing research you could be taking a course you could be uh, studying something you could be trying to get your degree um, you could be writing a book you could be journaling anything like that but I do think that you're going to be doing some research digging deep to find out information so that you can go towards this beautiful new uh, this beautiful new adventure this beautiful new event and this beautiful new exciting opportunity you know, you, you've thought long and hard, I think. The hangman talks about being in limbo, uh, not moving quickly. But while you're there, there, she, there you are doing the research. There you are get being ready. So when you get off this sort of pause state of... Uh, that you're in right now, you're going to be able to go, go, you know, hit the ground running. And be, as long as you have done the work here uh, to go forward, you're going to be able to do that. And again, staying focused to do this. Beautiful. Coming in with your final fourth week, you have been given the 
page of cups, another page, and another page, the page of swords, and you've been given the labyrinth. So coming in with these two pages, first of all, there could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorp Scorpio here, and then you have the page of swords as well. So, you know, both of these pages tend to be youthful, young at heart, you know, maybe a little immature, not having the, the um, you know, they're not quite mature enough to handle uh, you know, a king's level, not even a knight's level, but they're they're kind of growing into that. And this particular page that comes in could be coming in with his hand in affection, attention, respect, or even a relationship going to the next level for you. Um, this person may be coming in and be interested and want to offer you love here. And you may say, uh, yeah, right, when pigs can fly, I would be going out with you. But I think a lot of it has to do with what you're worried about other people's opinion will be. Let it go. This person could be coming in and sending you just exactly what you need. And they could be a temporary distraction. Uh, a beautiful emotional water sign coming in to spend time with you. And uh, they're interesting and they're psychic. And I think you're going to find you'll have a lot in, in, lot in common with this particular page. Now the next page that shows up brings challenging information. And it could have to do with a legal situation that could require documents and correspondence and uh, the signature of, you know, uh, you know, having to sign documents of some sort. And it could be of a legal issue here for some of you. And you might find it a little challenging because he also can tend to be bringing a message with not very much tact. Either blurts it out or you're going to be a bit pissed because, pardon me, because you don't think that they should have known about this. It's almost like it comes out in the form of gossip. But the, but the universe says not to attack the messenger, to take the message of the truthfulness, because this is going to help you move forward. If you're dealing with something that has to do with legally signing documents and agreements that you have to put your signature, that is going to be life-changing for you. So um, you may have to put your plans on hold while you think about this situation. Coming in next is the is the... The labyrinth and I think that you are getting where you want to go and you need to stay focused on it and you need to keep moving forward in that direction that you want okay um, I think you've done all the work right and I think that you need to keep moving and what happens here is I, I always use the tortoise and the hare uh, representation that you know the tortoise is, puts his head down he doesn't give up and the rabbits, rabbits scattering here and there and going in all directions and never ends up where they really wanted to start off and end up. So I think you're on the right path. You need to stay focused. You need to keep going towards that ultimate goal that you want. And it may be taking time, okay? It just may be taking you time to get there. And that's okay because the universe says you need to just slow down and not try to push things so hard so that you can see yourself get to this beautiful goal that you're you're wanting to uh, you know you're wanting to get to and you will and all you have to do is stay focused and don't waver don't fall off your path here going towards whatever that that goal is that exciting event uh, you know um, opportunity that's being presented to you here so all in all, you know, you have a lot of energy coming into you here. And I do think that, you know, with this double representation here of the Page of Wands coming in twice, it's a powerful message that says you're going to see some opportunity coming your way that's going to get you your juices flowing and getting you excited. And all you need to do is step up and take that leadership role and say, okay, I'm going for it. Maybe you're being offered the opportunity, that window opening to go out and open your own business or even have a passive secondary gig or income coming in something that you thought you might not have ever been interested in or you didn't think that you would that would it, the opportunity would come forward so I think you're going to be seeing a great opportunity coming forward and I think you're going to have the finances to go forward and get what it is you want you're thinking it that it's a big risk but I don't see it as that I think that if you you do the research you, you make sure you're cautious and careful about what you're signing to and what you what's going to be involved in it you're going to be able to go forward here and uh, you're going to be able to see you know I think you're going to get legal representation here if it's not a court case you may Maybe getting uh, some legal legal representation here when it comes to signing on this legal document that you could be getting here to move forward. And again, it could be uh, it could be a new job, it could be a secondary uh, a, a business that you're going into. Um, I think this is a great reading for some of you. Beautiful. Just stay on your path. Stay focused. Don't waver. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. This is beautiful. 
Well, this is your reading, my beautiful Sagittarians, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to, pardon me, month here to look forward to. And let's all be mindful of the energy we throw out into the universe because the universe is reacting to us, not happening to us. So, my beautiful Sagittarians, let's continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you again soon.